Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the end of June, so the 20th through the 30th of June, the next 10 days, or whatever it resonates, so I'm intending it to be from June 20th to June 30th, but no, you know, divine timing is real, so it is what it is. What do we have for Sagittarius for the end of the month? What do we have for Sagittarius? Lightning. Ooh. -hoo. Okay. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Barrel, you feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. And key, successful outcome to your problems. You may be getting a key to something. Maybe it's a new car. Maybe it's a new home. Um, or the, you know, a key can be a revelation. Okay. It can be, it doesn't have to be an actual key. Um, hmm. you're going to be receiving compliments. Something is lacking and you need to control your anger. Hmm. Yeah, it's very interesting, huh, Sagittarius? You do need to control your anger. You know, just because you're lacking, you don't need to be angry with the rest of the world. What do we have for Sagittarius for the end of June? Sagittarius. Oh. Knight of Swords reversed. So this is an unwelcome message. So you're probably going to, you know, it is what it is. The Knight of Swords reversed is, you know, you may be caught off guard. You may be caught off but guard. Maybe you hear some information that makes you angry. Okay. This the the reversed page of uh, swords um, has difficulty expressing, difficulty communicating. Now, if it's not you, you could be dealing with somebody. Could even be a child, okay? Or there you're dealing with another individual that is immature. There's difficulty in communication. There could be some. Uh, message that comes out the wrong way. Somebody may say something that is really, really mean that sets you off. Okay? That's what I feel like this is. I think that you're going to hear something that really pisses you off and you're going to need to control your anger. You think about key, what just came to my mind is jail. Now, I don't know why that came to my mind, but instantly as I got done speaking, somebody could end up in jail because they get so upset, you know, that they can't, don't control their anger, you know, and hey, just be careful. Be really, 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 really careful. Um... Now, this is bad news. We could have somebody here that has some mental health issues. Two of Wands reversed. So, a level of indecision. Stuck in the present. Having a hard time moving forward. Needing to focus on a new path, but refusing to do so. 
may be stuck in a situation. Two of Wands reversed is unable to make a choice. There's fear of change. There's lack of planning, staying put, choosing the safest option, but it hurts to stay in this situation, which is, is interesting. You may be dealing with somebody that is not really your friend. This person is aggressive. This person is a troublemaker. Five of Wands reversed. Now the Five of Wands reversed next to the Two of Wands reversed is... Uh, it's deciding not to go. Being held back. You're being bowed, held back by your own mind, perhaps. I mean, I know that Wands isn't mind, but... Power struggles, okay? This is power struggles. There's fear of confrontation, controversy. That may be why you're staying where you're at because you don't want to you don't want to fight anymore. You just don't want to fight, but there's you've been there's been been a lot of fighting. Six of Wands reverse, no victory very troublesome situation where there has been a lot of fighting yes so you've been in a troublesome situation where it's been a constant battle it has it's been like a competition whoever you've been dealing with it's been like a, a constant competition right and I feel like you're feeling like this is never going to be successful I'm sick of fighting I'm sick of being in this war zone it's it's too much it's overwhelming for you I feel like um, maybe you're dealing with somebody or it's you that is very smug. Now these readings can always go vice versa. They have a smug, cocky individual that has an overinflated ego. I feel like this person has no staying power. Okay, somebody has no staying power. When they say something, it doesn't mean a thing. It doesn't mean a thing. Now this is, and so we have unwelcome news twice here. Some unwelcome news is arriving, okay, that really may make you upset. Um, five of cups reversed. Now, one more. Queen of Wands reversed. Now we've we've had her quite a bit lately. Could be dealing with a, a, another fire sign. Could be another Sagittarius. Could be a Leo or an Aries. And it doesn't have to be a female. It can be a male or a female. But this could be some sad news that is coming in about this person. Okay, I don't know who this person is, but you know you may be receiving because the five of cups so this is, could be extremely sad when i get a card in reverse it's either an absence of or an extreme that's how i feel about it so it could be extreme this could be mourning of a loss okay grieving okay or prolonged grief over a situation this is lack of ambition lack of growth lack of drive lack of self-esteem lack of self-confidence poor health we have somebody's health that is declining they aren't taking very good care of themselves they're very troubled okay they're not eating well so that's a problem that is definitely a problem here so that it's like there's a need to focus on the future but we have an individual that is is refusing to do so they're stuck in the, their old ways refusing to take a new approach um this Five of Cups reversed. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. Beginning to realize the truth about somebody. You're going to be beginning to realize the truth about an individual. And it may even be about yourself. Okay, this could be you. Bit you may be getting to be beginning to realize something about yourself. Maybe you're beginning to realize that you need help. I'm not saying that's the case with every single person, but it feels like 
you have been doing some sort of suffering, okay? You've been suffering. You may have even been in a depression of some sort. And you may be feeling like... You know, you're going nowhere, but you've been choosing not to go down a new path. The other path has been there for you all along, but you have not stepped onto the new path. You know, you've been moping, you've been moping, crying over the loss, crying over the spilled milk, um, having a hard time moving up, moving it in a new direction. You've been choosing to hold on to animosity, perhaps. Um, anyhow, uh, but I think that you've reached a point where you're just, you're sick of fighting, right? You're sick of it. It's just too much. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. I feel like um, we have losing here. The Six of Wands reverse is losing a battle. And it may, be, it may be this person over here that is losing a battle. And it could be you. I don't know. Somebody is losing a battle, okay? They're losing it. So this is like receiving some news that somebody is, you know, and I'm sorry to say that, okay? Um, but this is on, the Five of Cups is about recovery in reversed. Somebody may need to go into recovery. They may need to go into rehab. And I think that I've said this a few times for you guys. You know, recovery is needed. But we have somebody here that is very... Um, unrealistic, okay, unreasonable. You can't, it's, and whether it's you or somebody, it's just like you can't be reasoned with. Maybe a recovery is needed. Seven of Cups, be, you need to become clear of your choice. Make sure that you, and this is a card of consequences, okay, and then we have consequences up here. Control your anger if you, or you will be sorry. You know, I need to be honest with you. Somebody could get drunk and do something really stupid and end up in jail. Just saying. It doesn't have to be drunk. It could be drugs. I don't know where that's coming from. I think that you need to be clear. You. This is about become clear of the choice that you need to make and make it. Okay? Stop playing games. You know, this is about playing games. You. You need to stop stalling. Okay, you have another path. Stop stalling. Go down that path. Go down that path. There's a, there's a lack of ambition. Okay, there's a lack of self-confidence. Okay, so if you don't have the drive to succeed, then you're not going to succeed. You have to find that drive inside you to succeed. Nobody's going to do it for you. So I feel like we have somebody here that's been moping and, you know, crying in their tears or their whatever, hating the world because of their own failures. And the thing is, is nobody is going to succeed for you. You have to succeed for yourself. The Seven of Cups reversed is making the choice. Become clear of the choice. You have another option, but you have to choose the other option. And you haven't. You haven't. You've been staying put. You keep doing the same things over and over and over again. Stop doing the same things over and over and over again. I think you are missing an opportunity. You are losing an opportunity, a golden opportunity, because you don't, it's like you're not manifesting it. You're not taking it in your hands. You're dropping it. You're, you're giving up. You're not being realistic. You're not being practical. They have an opportunity that is slipping away because you just, you don't see it because you're choosing not to. So it's like you're, you're throwing away a golden opportunity by refusing to take a new approach. So this is a lost opportunity. It's like the universe or God or a higher power. It's like you're just, th you're throwing it away. You're throwing away an opportunity that could uh, lead you down a path of permanent abundance. And you, it's like you just, you're just throwing it away because there's a lack of ambition. There's a lack of drive. There's uh, anger. Okay, there's anger here and moping and you need to choose. You need to make the choice to go down the path that you that you are scared to go down. You're scared to go down it. 
you're comfortable where you're at, even though it's painful, right? There's a lot of conflict where you're at. There's a lot of fighting where you're at. It's not comfortable. Find the strength. Find the courage that you are lacking to go down that path. So anyway, Sagittarius, I feel as though, oh my God, I just remembered this. You feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. I think it's all three. I do. And I think it's because you haven't been planning. This is lack of planning. It is. You haven't been planning. You've been doing a lot of moping. You've been sulking, wallowing. You have another option here. But if you can't find the drive and the ambition to step into unknown territory and go through whatever recovery that you need to go through, then it's, I mean, there's a fail here. The Six of Wands reverse is a failure. And I'm not trying to be mean. Who wants to be told that they're a failure? You're only a failure if you choose to be a failure. This is a choice. The Seven of Cups is a choice. The Six of Wands reversed upright is a win. Reverse is a fail. So you choose to win or you choose to fail. What's it going to be? You have the power, but you're not using it. There's a whole lot of bickering here. Fighting. The emperor. The emperor. Now we could have a judge <laughs> or a father or a boss or somebody that is in leadership that orders you. Okay? And I'm not saying that's going to happen for everybody because that not this reading isn't for every single person. This is somebody in authority that is a ruler. This is a ruler. So somebody may make the decision for you. This could also be you that decides that they want structure. This is a decision maker that decides that they want organization. This is somebody that is ready to fight. That is battle ready. I feel as though this is about regaining structure in your life. It is. I think it is about making a choice to take ownership. To be the boss of your life. So I feel like at the end of this month, if you are not making the decision, then there may be a judge or somebody that is in authority. This is somebody that is in authority that makes the decision this person chooses for you. They may make the choice for you. And maybe it's because you act out of anger. So I don't know who this message is for, but I see that we have a very wise individual that is making a decision to bring structure to your life. And it may be you making the decision, or it could be somebody in authority. Good luck.